So up next, men's double semi-final, the first of the semi-finals here. We're here at the Swiss Open. One court, two sessions of semi-finals. And the players, officials and umpires are starting to make their way to the court. We have Li Sheng Mu and Tsai Chai Sin from Chinese Taipei. Up against Ken Kit Ku and Boon Hyong Tan of Malaysia. Both pairs in the top 20 in the world. The Malaysians, former world number ones back in 2010. And the Chinese Taipei pair, number four seeds. A career high of three, number three in the world. Currently ranked number 17. Please welcome from Chinese it's going to be a fascinating Malaysia, men's double semi. With the stands filling up, the crowd in appreciation of the players, welcoming them to the court. Please welcome from Japan, Kuke Etamo Hong, from Malaysia. Well, unfortunately, the an announcer said Japan. These two are from Malaysia. One of the most exciting men's doubles pairs in the world to watch. Never say die attitude, incredible flair. Power and skill, they're always smiling, always enjoying badminton. And I, for one, can't wait to see how this semi final will develop. Umpire Allstrand from Denmark with the uh, coin toss. The pair from Chinese Taipei won the toss and elected to serve. We'll see. So, no uh, spring chickens out there on court, I'm afraid. Li Sheng Mu at 29 and Tsai Chai Sin, 33. The Malaysians, Ku, age 30, and Tan, 28. Very experienced badminton players, all of them. The Malaysians were in the uh, quarterfinals at the All Englands last week, losing to their teammates, Go and Tan from Malaysia, in two very close sets. They did, however, beat. Hassan and Setiawan in the second round along the way, so very capable pair. The pair from Chinese Taipei. Well, they were knocked out at uh, the All England in round one. They did make the Malaysian Open semi final last year. Losing to Lee Young Day and Yu Young Sung, 22-20 in the third game. So again, just shows the sort of level they're at as well. A pair from Taipei currently ranked 17 in the world, and the Malaysians 15. So again, not much between them and. Will be very close call. I imagine these games will be uh, right down to the wire. I don't expect either pair to run away with it, really.
Kuhn Tan there just showing their quarterfinal last uh, last night against Chris Langridge and Marcus Ellis of England. England's uh, best hopes currently in men's doubles. It was a very close semi-final. We believe Chris Langridge had a red card at the start of the match before they'd even finished knocking up. There was some debate about the speed of shuttles and the potential argument with the uh, with the umpire. But he's really sure. The pair from Chinese Taipei had a comfortable quarter-final against Wang Yilu, who we saw earlier in the mix, and Zhang Wen, 21-18, 21-16 in their quarter-final. Error at the net there from from KK Koo. But that was well left by Tan. Wow, the power, the speed of these top men's doubles pairs always astounds me. Reverse slice straight drop from Li Sheng Mu there. serve as he returns the shuttle. Oh. And a straight smash. Straight through the centre of those of the Malaysian defence. Causes confusion. Communication issues. Who's going to take it? And again, we see the uh, we see the defence split when there is a left and right-handed combination, as we have with the Malaysians. Well, only two minutes gone, it's 7-4 already. These, these furious rallies so fast. Just explaining to Lee how far the shuttle was out. Just millimetres, apparently. Fantastic doubles. I couldn't take my eyes off the defence of the Malaysians then for a second. Incredible footwork and speed. It's a 
unlucky from Ku. Skill with the forehand cross net, just drifting wide. The style of play of both pairs so similar. There's really not much to choose between these two. But after that win for the Malaysians against the uh, English pairing of Ellis and Langridge last night, I'm going to predict that it's the Malaysians that will progress to the final. Ku and Tan. <laughs> Pair from Chinese Taipei might be favourites. Seeded four compared to the Malaysian seeded six. Defense from Sai Chia Sin. And this time from Li Sheng Wu. Brings it back level at 11 all. Great smash from Tan. Just slightly across his body and made it that ever so slightly more difficult to defend. kind of errors where the shuttle drifts just slightly wrong, long or wide when the rallies are played at such a high pace it's very difficult to control that however was just fairly poor Seems uh, Sai Chia Sin has uh, had a mental breakdown at the net just for the past 20 or 30 seconds. I'm sure he'll come out of it. Oh my God! I'm hoping we get a replay of that because that dig on the backhand from KK Ku was unreal. <laughs> a full 360 on the backhand reverse. Shot of the day so far without doubt. Amazing to see the confidence of this Malaysian pair when they're on this kind of form. It's too close to call at the moment, but if they take a lead some point in this match for a few points, you'll see trick shots like that and a relaxed, laughing atmosphere. I've seen them rally before in matches where they just defend the whole time purely because they can, just for fun. They just keep lifting it to the back line and let the other pairs attack them. It's almost disrespectful at some stage, but 
the crowd love it because they're really just showing what they're capable of doing. Don't think we'll see that just yet, however, 16 all. Sheng Mu and Xia Xian taking the one point lead again. 17 16, not a lot to choose between this in this semi final. Great straight smash again from Boon Hyong Tan. Just directs it into the channel very slightly, and that is enough to force the error from the opposition. That is a big smash. Pretty good lift from Ku, but the defense of the smash wasn't with enough quality to, uh, to trouble the Chinese Taipei pair. What a great return of serve, though, from Tan. Just using his fingers to turn the shuttle away. Taipei here, 2019. Another great flat driving rally though. Put away by Ku at the front of the court. Well, that net. Block was the wrong decision, really. Q was standing right there. This one. And no surprise, Chinese Taipei end up in a bit of a mess on the floor. Play players taking a break at 21 20. I guess while the court was mopped. 21 20. And it's Kian Kit Ku to serve. Well, it was a broken string. Either that or he snapped his racket when, uh, when he went down. Well played. Sheng Mu. He saw that uh, net shot coming. He was quick as a flash. On top of that, to put the kill away. Yeah, well played, Malaysia, maintaining the attack. Point again, it's Boon Hyung Tan to serve to Chai, Chai Sin. Ah! 
And the Malaysians take the first game, 23-21. Fascinating game of men's doubles. Really nothing to choose between them, and this could as easily go one-sided as it could go to three right down to the wire, who knows? Chinese pair of uh, Li Shengmu and Sai Chiasin with furrowed brows of concentration and talk tactics during the break. The Malaysians looking uh, a little more relaxed. A few jokes and smiles as they prepare. Whoa! You can see there the uh, smile on the face of Bu Hyung Tan. As he tries to retrieve the second one, his partner stuck in one corner. Oh, great defense from Malaysia. Nothing wrong with the attack, either from the uh, Taipei pair. Apart from the final shots, which Something of a miss hit, really. attack Ku moving forwards with such ambition but he did leave his partner somewhat stranded for a moment Chia Sin and Cheng Mu able to uh, cope with the pressure and find the gap in the end Great play there from Chinese Taipei. See uh, Tsai Chia Sin waiting for that straight lift. He held his racket out there and that's where they played it. Oof. Incredible pace. Some of the rallies in this men's doubles. Three or four feathers came off that uh, shuttle when Tan hit that uh, smash. 
That's nice. Almost exploded. These guys playing at this sort of pace, week in, week out. It almost looks like trick shots, the way they anticipate, the way they predict where the shuttle's going after they've hit it. Both Chinese Taipei men there. Sheng Mu with the easy kill at the end, but it was a well worked rally from both. And after all that, the service error. It's great to see rallies that end with a uh, committed net kill at the end. It means something's worked, something's gone well. More pleasing to the spectator than to see a rally with an unforced error, of course. So. I think I mentioned the head-to-head -head earlier on. It's uh, it's two all between these two pairs. What? The last match was won by the Malaysians. That was the uh, Australian Open uh, early summer last year. We haven't met that many times recently. The previous match was the uh, World Championships back in 2014. in which Li Cheng Mu and Sai Chia Sin won in a 21-19 third game. Both of those matches were uh, round 16 matches in those two tournaments. Prior to that, it was 2013 Sudaman Cup and the Hong Kong Open back in 2012. So two each. Similar position in the world rankings. Similar position in the seeds here. I don't think the bookies are able to split them very easily with the odds for anybody out there placing money. Mu has uh, very well anticipated that one from Tan. Oh, what defense. Great smash from uh, Bu Hyung Tan, but backhand defense just catching the top of the tape and falling dead. Brings about the mid-game interval at 11.8 to Chinese Taipei here. Might only be halfway through this match, it might very well go to a third game decider.
11, 8, fake. So 11 8 here. Sheng Mu with the serve to uh, Kian Kit Ku. And you could see Xia Chia Sin taking a look at his opponents on both of those smashes where they were positioned on the court. He went straight with the first. He looked up for the second time and opted for the cross court. It was a great decision and a great smash too. Fantastic play from Jai Sia Hin. He anticipated every single shot in that rally. Unlucky for Chinese Taipei in control of the rally, but didn't quite have the final product. Well, left from uh, Boon Hyung Tan. Fast and furious feet as he got back. It was well judged. Fourth error though from Tan. Gives Chinese Taipei pair a three point gap now. But a terrible serve from Li Sheng Mu. Turned away with such skill. Watch this from Tan. A drop shot. Could have put that on a postage stamp. It was that uh, precise. Played Malaysia. That lift was perfect, just out of reach. Sheng Mu and they stepped in on the attack so well. Oh, 
Oh, the cross-court smash this time from Tan. Trying to set up his partner, but the fault on the racket there. Shane Moon trying to intercept it. It just clipped the frame. Semi-final day. 16. Well, this game's swinging in the balance so often. Very difficult for either pair to really gain any momentum. Oh. <laughs> Ken Kiku there, giving his partner a look. <laughs> I think his partner put him in the firing line on that one, and uh, he's probably got a small bruise on the uh, base of his back. But it's game points in the second here to Sheng Wu and Chia Sin of Chinese Taipei. Oh, 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 he tried to pull out the cross-court slice. Might have been drifting wide. Didn't pull out in time. It's 17-20. Uh, And there's the second game. It's gone in the way of the pair from Chinese Taipei, Li Sheng Wu and Tsai Xie Sin. 21-17. I'm sure that will delight the fans here, treated to a third and final game, watching these two great men's doubles pairs battle it out for a place in tomorrow's final here at the Swiss Open. So players ready now in the third and final deciding game here in the men's doubles. First semi-final of the day. Great defence once again from Malaysia. Well, from both pairs, we've seen all the way through this match so far. Okay. 
I love the facial expressions of the Malaysian pairs. You can see what they're thinking on the way they react after they've hit a shot. Tan there with signs of relief after that one dropped inside the line. Well judged from Li Sheng Mu there. That was always drifting wide. Sin felt that it might have been drifting long as well and regrets not pulling out of the shot. Smash again from Tan, but he tried the deception on the uh, stop drop. It just fell short, it clipped the tape and fell back. Again, the unforced error again from Boon Hyung Tan. The Chinese Taipei pair of three point gap, but great anticipation from KK Ku. who was trying to set up his partner's forehand. Oh, that was great. Such disguise. Again, this Malaysian pair, so good to watch. They make it look so easy. They look relaxed. They look like they're under no pressure ever. There was certainly pressure there, though. Commitment on the follow up from Chia Sin. Unlucky from Ku, he was. Pressurizing the midcourt. And it was working in his favor, but error right at the, at the, at the, surf, at the last. Still the three point deficit for Malaysia. In a match like this, three points. It really doesn't count for a great deal until it's at the end of the game because the momentum swing is incredible between the two pairs.
Yeah, well played Chinese Taipei. Good on them for maintaining that pressure instead of going for a soft block or a drop shot. In the end, it paid off. brings about the mid-game interval in the third and deciding game here, the change of ends. It's uh, Li Xiangmu and Asai Achia Sin with the four-point advantage going into the latter stages of this match, 11-7 up. Malaysians talk now and talk with their coaches. A lot more serious, a lot more direction from the coaches. It's crunch time here in the semi final. I'm sure it means everything to these players to make the final here tomorrow. The serve getting us underway. Another net error from Kian Kiet Ku. Signs of frustration creeping into his game. The six point lead now for Chinese Taipei. That's not something we've seen anywhere in this match so far. Can they maintain it? Is it enough to take them through to the final? Well, we've seen that two or three times, unfortunately. A few good rallies and then the error on the serve. Great smash from Shen Wu. Across the body of Tan. He's trying to find the corner with that lift, but drifted just wide. <laughs> and the umpire having a quick word with Ku. Him to calm down. I'm not sure if it was an expletive or just a shout of frustration. But this match is starting to slip away from the Malaysians. Oh, and more and more errors creeping into the game. Signs of pressure. Something hit the net then on that uh, kill from Li Sheng Mu, but it seems everybody was happy the fact that it was the shuttle and not his racket. Or I'm the only one that saw it, I'm not sure. Nevertheless, it doesn't change the score. It's 18 8 now, 10 point lead to Chinese Taipei. And surely now it's too far for the Malaysians to come back. Great return of uh, surf, however. Gu Hyong Tan. Forehand deep into the corner. 
What's a drop shot, though. The disguise on the uh, full-out smash. Just brushing across the shuttle, bringing it down steep. And, and that error from Ku brings about match point, the first of 11 match points for Sheng Mu and Chia Sin of Taipei. But I feel like I knew that uh, service error was going to happen before he played it. Every time there's been an important point in Sheng Mu serving, he seems to play it into the net, but they've got plenty more chances and they only need one. It's Li Sheng Mu and Sai Chia Sin of Chinese Taipei that progress to the final. Appreciating the crowd who have enjoyed the entirety of this match. A shame for some that Tan and Ku of Malaysia didn't progress. They are crowd favourites in many places, but you can't fault the performance of Li Shengmu and Sai Chia Sin of Chinese Taipei. They were solid all the way through the match. Unfortunately, the Malaysians let it slip right at the end. The second half of that third game was fairly poor from the Malaysians compared to their standards. Too many unforced errors, too many errors in defence, and they really did let that one slip away at 21-10. Confirmation of the score. Li Shengmu, Tsai, Chia Sin, 21-23, 21-17, 21-10. So we're getting towards the end of session one of these semi-finals here at the Swiss Open in Basel. The last match up in the uh, session is women's singles. It's Sena Newal against Wang Yi Han in the top half of the draw. Certainly the match that many people have been looking forward to. Both previous winners here at the Swiss Open Sena Newal, the number one seed. Wang Yi Han, number three. And there really isn't a lot to choose between these two players at the moment. I think it's fair to say neither of them are at the very top of, them, of their career. They've both been number one in the world, for instance. But nevertheless, it's this crucial road to Rio, this fight for qualification points. I'm sure both of these players will feature, but where in the Olympic draw will they feature? And everybody's fighting to 
get as high as they can to get a good seeded draw in the Olympics in Rio in August. So the last few months as we lead into the Olympics, it's a crucial qualifying period and everybody's fighting for ranking points. So believe me, this match means a lot to both of these players. The umpire gathers them for the coin toss. 